Well, Logan Allen will be our starting pitcher coming back after a month down in Triple A, coming back to start against the Diamondbacks. And Logan, I, I hope he can have a nice one, two, three first inning. We're underway with Cattell Marte. One swing. Cattell Marte gone. He's done it one more time. Wow. He has more home runs, now 15 against left hand pitchers than. Any other player in the majors, he has four more against lefties than anyone else. And one pitch in, it's one nothing Diamondback. Now he deals with Moreno, 256 and four homers. And Moreno gets it a ride. This one's going to go as well. Gabby's gone, and they start out back to back against Logan Allen in Cleveland. Well, it's starting to look familiar like Pittsburgh. Remember yep. that game, huh? One more to go. We'll make it a trifecta for the second time in the first inning on this road trip. The fifth for Gabby, and it's a two-run first for the Diamondbacks. Guriel makes it three consecutive hits to start it off. And Bell chops one toward short. Rokio to second one. Jimenez doubles him up. Boy, you talk about needing a double play. Allen got it. Oh, that's a bullet, and it caught Allen. It drops into center. Let's check on the lefty. He's trying to get out of the way, and right off the top of the head. My goodness. It appears that uh, he's going to be able to stay in there. Back to back walks after getting hit in the head. The bases are loaded. Here's Kevin Newman. And the 3 1 pitch is popped in the air to left field. This should get him out of the inning. Stephen Kwan is there, and the side is retired. Here is the right hander, Zach Gatlin, who has won each of his last three starts. Yeah, he's been on a roll, and he's definitely the number one guy here for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Here's Lane Thomas. The new guardian just a little low for Charlie Ramos Gallon didn't miss by much. It's a one out walk. Jose Ramirez he has been on quite a roll offensively. Jose smashes one up the alley. That'll get down and go to the wall. Lane Thomas is flying around third. Ruggie Odor going to wave him home. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time to third goes Jose. And he beats the tag there. Oh, what hustle by Jose and Lane Thomas as the Guardians come right back and answer. So the Guardians are right back in business. And here's Josh Naylor with that runner at third. Pulls it in the hole. Knocked down by Newman. No play on Jose. We're tied at two. Give Naylor RBI number 81. Well, just like that, they come back. Well done. Here's Gabby. Quickly two down in the second. Looks like Allen has settled things down a bit. And another one. That one went off his leg. Nobody home at first. No play for Naylor, who can't pick it up. And Moreno's hurt. Moreno is down. Just before the first base bag, something went terribly wrong with Gabby Moreno. He tries to make that last second uh, leap over there to get that long stride. Boy, this is a big blow to the D backs right here. Well, let's just hope for the best right now and lost Gabby earlier this summer with that left thumb bruise. It wasn't that big a deal. He only missed about a week and a half but this needs to be a bit more serious than that for Cleveland here in the bottom of the second Andre Jimenez. Oh that ball slug right field up against the wall. Gritchick fires towards second and Hemi is in there sliding with a leadoff double and that's his 17th two bagger of the year. He sends one in the air. This won't get it done. Shallow right. Gritchick is there. No way you're tagging on that. He is. Here's the throw to third on one bounce slide tag safe. Infield in for Bo Naylor. They were in for Josh Naylor and he tied the game in the first. Now Bo can give him the lead here in the second. Swung on line drive base hit to center. Oh, he went out and on the front foot banged a change up up the middle for a go ahead base hit. Naylor knocks in Jimenez. And Bo Naylor with his 32nd RBI. And the Guardians have taken a 3 to 2 lead on Zach Gallen. Jose Ramirez, his hit in the first was scored a double, took third on the throw, had an RBI. What a stop by Kevin Newman at second. Little trouble getting it out of the glove, but again, Ramirez, Kevin Newman, a sparkling defensive play of the outfield grass. He had the infield shifted way over to that side as far as the rules allow, and Newman was just over far enough. Swing and a miss. Strike three got him chasing the off speed that time Suarez is down on strikes swung on ground ball to short corralled by Rocchio fires to first in time for the out swung on ground ball third base nice hop for Ramirez guns it to first in time for the out side goes in order top of the order for the Diamondbacks Cattell Marte beats it into the ground Jose cuts in front of Rocchio and on the run throws him out swung on ground ball to short. Scooped up by Rocchio, fires on to first in time for the out. So two up, two down. Swung on, and there's a high fly ball to center. 
Back on it is Freeman. He's there and he makes the catch. And it's another clean inning for Allen. Three up, three down. Logan Allen out after five innings and 84 pitches. And Cade Smith on a relief. A rocket back up the middle off the bat of Josh Bell. It's a leadoff single to start to sixth. That's the first Diamondback hit since the second inning when Moreno was injured going halfway down the first baseline. Bell on the move. Jake hits it right through the six hole. And it's a base hit for McCarthy. Two on and one out now. And we know it's Gino Suarez coming up. And a chance for Suarez who has walked and struck out. He's got Josh Bell at second base. Jake McCarthy at first. Hard to third. Suarez comes through again. Bell will score. They will stop Jake at third. We know it's Gino, and we're tied at three. He smoked that ball down the left field line. It looked like McCarthy might come home, but TP put on the stop sign as Quan got it back in pretty quickly. Newman walks to load the bases, and the number nine hitters coming up. Geraldo Perdomo. Slow roller to second. They're going to try to turn two. Perdomo beats it out McCarthy's home and the Diamondbacks have the lead just hit too slowly for the Guardians to get that double play so Zach Gallen who had a 2 nothing lead early let it get away he was down 3 2 now leads it 4 3 as Jose Ramirez starts us off with the Guardian six off the end it's good it may find some grass it will indeed <laughs> there you go that evens it up sixth hit of the night for Cleveland second for Jose Ramirez Jose with 22 stolen bases on the air is off and running and no throw by Herrera the tying run into scoring position so now David Fry will try to make him pay for the unintentional intentional walk Ramirez takes off pitches in there a strike Naylor's running swung on it's grounded to third and Suarez will pick it up he throws to first in plenty of time now runner at third in Jose Ramirez and a runner at second in Josh Naylor one down for Andre Jimenez he's doubled and singled swung on chopper back up the middle base hit center field that'll score two Ramirez coming home here comes Naylor Guardians take the lead a three hit night for Andre Jimenez and for the second time tonight Zach Gallen has been given the lead and in the same inning not able to hold it five to for Cleveland runner at second one out so here's Jock 282 17 homers he homered twice in Pittsburgh over the weekend Jock hitting 375 in his last dozen games Jock drives it deep to right field Jack Peterson has done it one more time Jock Peterson gives them the lead in Cleveland he did it yesterday in Pittsburgh and he's done it again tonight Wow we have arrived at zero hour bottom nine six to five Diamondbacks trying to hang on and take this one from the Guardians and here is Ryan Thompson a five and three record right now Bo Naylor at the plate sends a high fly ball deep center field McCarthy back he's out of room it's off the top of the wall into second base is Bo he's going to go for three and he boy. is safe with a triple. So Schneeman with the tying run at third base. Swing and a high drive. Deep right center. McCarthy back onto the track. Makes the catch. He can walk home and tie it up. And we've got a new ball game at 6-6. Two down bases empty in the ninth. Swing and a fly ball. Shallow center McCarthy coming hard makes the catch. We've got extra innings. What a ball game here tonight. Amen. Well, Classe, Classe, the eighth man to pitch in this game. McCarthy gets the bunt down. Classe has it. Naylor applies the tag and Corbin's in at third. So job done there for Jake McCarthy. And now the batter is Gino Suarez. Gino has walked, struck out. He's got an RBI double. He's grounded out. One for three. And Suarez delivers. Gets it out there, a sliding catch in the outfield by Thomas. He got it, Corbin's home, and the Diamondbacks have the lead. A tremendous play out there by Lane Thomas in right. But Suarez gets the RBI. Ryan Thompson couldn't quite close out the ninth. We'll see if Justin Martinez can do it in the 10th. Two outs in the 10th. Got him! Justin Martinez saves the day, and the Diamondbacks get another remarkable win on this road trip at 7-6 in Cleveland.